Right, so let's try out this uh, this new uh, slideshow record technique. So we're learning about the other Latin cases today, all three at once, because we're going to go for it. So we see on the first slide here the two cases you know already, the nominative and the accusative, and what they do. Uh, ignore the green bear up there, it's not important. Okay, so the other cases you need, let's see if this works. There's one called the genitive, one called the dative, now, those of you who got to G9 last uh, last school year uh, will know about the uh, dative already. And the last one called the ablative. So long, scary words, but they're not that important for now. Just they're useful handles to understand the concepts. So we've got the genitive, dative, and ablative. Now, what are they all about? Why do they exist? What are they for? Well, in English, we often use little prepositions like of and to and with um, to convey meaning. So we might say it's the... It's a bucket of water, or um, I hit him with a chair, or um, I gave it to the headmaster. Okay, so you've got different kind of ways of saying things with prepositions like of, to, with, by, whatever. Um, in Latin, some of those are prepositions like in and contra, ones you've learned already, but lots of that is done by means of these three cases. So if you want to say of in Latin, or use apostrophe s like... Um, uh, Mr. Lord's desk, something like that, then you'd use the genitive case. So a bucket of water, water is genitive, Mr. Lord's desk, Mr. Lord is genitive, because Mr. Lord's desk is the same as the desk of Mr. Lord, the same thing. So of an apostrophe s show kind of possession or what something's made of. So you have those endings for that. The dative case is used when you want to say two or four. So um, if I gave some money to the headmaster or I did it for, for a friend, two or four dative case, so the headmaster or the friend are dative. And if I, um, if I hit somebody with a chair, um, then use the ablative case for with or by. Okay, He was killed by the plague. Um, plague will be ablative. Um, I hit him with a stick. Stick is ablative because it's after the word with. So um, I've squashed that up into the right hand side of the into the top of the um, top of the slide and got a nice little story there about the green bear because he was important after all. Um, there you go. So let's have a look at the story and can you work out what case the bold nouns would be in if they were in Latin? I'll leave a long pause for you to work it out. Well, a short pause because you can pause the video, okay? And I shan't tell you the answers. Yes, I shall. I shall. So pause for five, for five seconds. Okay, so the green bear wanted. So he's the nominative, isn't he? Because he's doing something. He wanted to buy a fish. So the fish is the victim of the buying. It's what's being bought. So fish is accusative. For his mother, for is there, so it's dative, okay? Uh, for is dative. The colour of the fish was unimportant. So the colour is what was unimportant. That's the subject of the sentence, is what was unimportant. So colour is nominative. Um, of the fish, fish is now genitive because it's of the fish. Of is genitive, of the fish. He caught the fish with his paw. So the fish is being caught, so the fish is accusative. And uh, with his paw, with, as we can see in red there, is ablative. So paw is ablative. Hope you're getting the idea now. Uh, when he got home, he gave the fish to his mother. Fish is being given, so fish is accusative. And to his mother, we see how under the blue one here, dative is two or four. So to his mother, mother is dative. Now you see this little fish here, ignore the fish, um, this one here on the right, when he got home he gave his mother the fish, is the same as when he got home he gave the fish to his mother. If I give a student a commendation or a, or a detention, it's the same thing as giving the commendation to the student, giving the student the commendation. So you've got to be careful there because sometimes datives are hidden, they haven't got the word two or four because the meaning is kind of implied anyway. Okay. Next we have the endings in Latin. Now there they are. 
taken straight from the textbook um, that then and I've also squished those up into the next slide there they are um, so we've got some sentences that are made up can you work out what they mean can you work out what cases the nouns are I'll do a, a pause again so you can sort of pause the video and have a look at it and then I'll just tell you what the answers are okay um, Puella pecuniam domino dat the girl that's accusative that's nominative isn't it so accusative the girl's giving money that's okay domino looks like dative or ablative so it's either to the master or for the master or by or with the master so if the girl's giving money it's almost certainly going to be to the master isn't it so you choose the one that best fits when you're doing a translation so the girl's giving some money to the master or the girl's giving the master some money remember we can do it that way around if we like right this time the master is killing the slave that's all right i hope Gladio, again, to a, to a sword, for a sword, by a sword or with a sword. Well, I reckon this time it's got to be ablative, isn't it? Um, the master is killing the slave with the sword. That's what he's using to do this appalling act. Number three, a friend loves the goddess. That should be all right. Now, what's Ankylai doing there? It could be, no, no, it could be the non-plural. But we've already got a non-singular there, and the verb is singular, so it can't be that. So where else do we see AE? Well, we see it in the genitive and dative singular. So it could be of a slave girl, or to or for the slave girl. So the friend loves the goddess for the slave girl. Well, it could be, but a bit weird. It's better to take it as the of one. So the friend of the slave girl, ah, that makes sense loves the goddess so again choosing the best one that fits in context is the important thing to do number four almost there now two very similar sentences you can see i've changed it the verb is different that's uh, number four is parat number five is portat and uh, the case of equis and equorum is different so let's look at number four the slave girl prepares food so far so good equis now looking around here, is must be dative or ablative plural on the right hand side. So it's either to or for the horses or by or with the horses. So the slave girl prepares food, mm, I reckon for the horses. Okay, that's better than to or with or by, so for the horses there. This one, the slave girl is now carrying the food and it's now genitive plural, a quorum. So it must be the slave girl is carrying the food of the horses or even she's carrying the horse's food with the apostrophe after the S because there's more than one horse. Good, I hope that was okay. Thank you for watching and listening.